So we'll look back to action Dublin Derby against Shells on Friday off the back of a great 1-0 win in Dundalk and the fans buzzing about your goal save and tackle but overall a clean sheet and a good win here last Friday in front of a good crowd and all systems going now for Shells. Um, yeah, listen, we're looking to keep more clean sheets um, and that's my job so on Friday it was all about, for me, I think in the back four, the goalkeeper, I think it was all about keeping a clean sheet. I, I think we know the, the threat we have up top so if we can keep clean sheets I think We'll win a lot of games. Keats has obviously scored again. Um, that's two goals now from this season. And all he'll want to think about is goals. And we want a, a striker that's going to score goals. So once he can keep doing that and a few other boys can chip in, and obviously us back four can, can obviously keep clean sheets, and it's going to be massive come the end of the season in terms of goal difference and stuff like that. Yeah, great buzz in Richmond on Friday as well. This place will be absolutely rammed this Friday too. How have you enjoyed the Richmond experience? I know we lost the balls in our first home game, but the other night the fans really roared you guys on towards the end and those moments after final whistles when you're doing the little lap of honour, clapping the fans after a big win are, are nice and I suppose among the reasons why you came to Pats. Yeah, um, the balls game, I think when we conceded, I don't think there was a drop off in any sort of atmosphere or hostility that the fans were giving towards balls. I think... Um, shells will get the same um, I think the fans are going to be right up against the pitch like they are in Richmond and they're going to make it hard for them if we can keep play, playing good football and getting good results then hopefully they'll be on our side What are the keys to trying to beat Shells? They've had a good start to the season you of course played under Damien Duff in your days in the Shamrock Rovers Academy so you might have an insight or two but they've started the season well and the derbies are always tight of course Yeah, listen, they're top of the league so they're the, the team to beat right now you know what I mean? It, like Football can change so quickly um, so listen, we'll be looking to nullify their threats. Obviously, they have tricky wingers. They have decent strikers. You know what I mean? They have good players in, in the middle of the park, and they have a good defence. So it's nothing that we don't have, and nothing that we we haven't came up against yet this season. So it's just another game that we have to go and win. At the end of the day, like like football is about results, and we have to go and win it. Yeah, the games between St. Pat's and Shells over the last couple of years, some have been very dramatic with lots of goals, others have been quite tight as well, but adding in a, a packed away end and a packed home end here as well, it's it's all set for a good one. We were just saying with the media lads there, how good the pitch is here in comparison to some of the others in the league as well, so touch wood will be a decent one and, and three points for the Saints if we can play well. Yeah, listen, the pitch out there is phenomenal. Like, you, you, like there's no excuse out there on playing football. Um, I think with both sets of fans selling out, I think it's going to be a great game and I think... It'll only add to it, you know, it might make it a bit edgy for the first 15, 20 minutes and that's what you want in the game. You want the game that's end to end, that's what the fans want to see. Um, so yeah, hopefully we come out on top on Friday night and that's, that's what we'll be aiming for, nothing less. <laughs>